Hello and welcome back to our base. Today, instead of me teaching you a lesson, I've invited my friend Samantha Swordfish to come and help us learn. So we're going to be joining her Sunday school class. We better hurry before we're late. Howdy, youngins. My name is J.R. Ray, and why don't y'all settle down just a bit? Seems to me that the teacher ain't here yet, so as I reckon, we'll just go ahead and get started without her. Yay! And now, kids, the teacher's notes here says that we's gonna learn about holiness. Now, kids, if anybody knows any little thing about holiness, it's just got to be a sawfish. I mean, I punch holes in coral, rock, and on occasion, other fish. <gasps> oh, oh, sorry, little ones. Didn't mean to scare y'all. The point being that if anybody was ever qualified to teach y'all about holiness, it's me. So it just seems that divine providence has intervened and kept the teacher late so as I could teach y'all this here lesson. Now, why don't I start us off here with, a, with an object lesson? This here ship could be a little more holy. Watch and learn. Yay! Holy. Holy. Um, what's going on here? Uh, well, seeing how you were late, I, I just figured I'd jump in and help. Oh. Yes, and it just so happened that this week's lesson was on holy. And as I was just telling the little ones here, if anybody knows any little thing about holy, it's a saltfish. And what does this craft have to do with holiness? Well, ma'am, as you can plainly see, this ship has been holy. talking about two different holies. Well, I didn't know that there was but one kind of holy. Well, why don't you take a seat and I'll explain. I apologize for being late. I had a meeting and it went a little long. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Today, we're going to learn about holiness, as you probably already know. Before we get started, let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity to teach your word Please help me to say only what you would want me to say. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Now, the kind of holiness we are going to talk about has nothing to do with actual holes. Holiness is an attribute of God. When talking about God's holiness, it means exalted or worthy of complete devotion as one that is perfect in goodness and righteousness. The Bible says in Psalm 97, 9 that God is exalted it says, For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. There is no other God that is as holy or as good as our God. He is above all other gods. The Bible also says in Revelation 4.11, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Our God is so great. He is worthy of our complete devotion. We need to give him our all and not put any other gods before him. That brings us to our memory verse. Okay, repeat after me, class. 1 Peter 1.16 1 Peter 1.16 Because it is written Because it is written Be ye holy, for I am holy. Be ye holy, Good job. Now, let's think about that verse. How are we supposed to be holy? We're not perfect beings. We are sinful. So, how can we be holy, exalted, or worthy of complete devotion? We can't. And we're not supposed to be. That part of holiness is an attribute of God. But we can be perfect in goodness and righteousness through the power of Jesus. 
God is a good father and he will ask us to do something that we cannot do. So how can we be holy? Another definition for holy is godly, consecrated or set apart for a sacred use or to the service or worship of God, to be sanctified or purified from evil or wrong. As Christians, it is important for us to be set apart for God's use. We need to follow God with our whole heart. In this verse, being holy is a command. It's not something we need to think about doing. We need to do it because God told us to. We can only be holy through the power of the Holy Spirit and the righteousness of Jesus within each believer. We must walk by faith and submit ourselves fully to the leading of the Holy Ghost. Always be listening for that still small voice. So let's try this week to be holy as we follow God. Will you take the challenge of being holy? Bye kids! I will see y'all next week. Remember to focus this week on walking holy before God. Bye, Mr. Yes. Samantha. Thank you. You're welcome, children. Y'all be safe going home. Miss Samantha, thank you so much for letting us join you today. That was a lovely lesson and a great reminder about the holiness of our God and a good challenge as well for us to remember to walk holy before him and through his power. Thank you again. Anytime, Miss Julie. We enjoyed having y'all peek in on our lesson this week. Bye, kiddos. Hope y'all have a good week.